hello welcome to fermi cg in this video i am going to talk about amd radeon pro render it's actually quite old technology but uh, they have developed a lot of things and it's actually very very good render and can compete with uh, all other 3d rendering in which support gpu cpu all these things and this is uh, much much powerful than the previous version and actually it has a lot of technology i will show you uh, before jumping in the tutorial all these things and they, this is their website uh, md website md radium pro render there are things uh, they are showing how these things work so how how much fast you can get and what the technology they use actually this is uh, the unbiased renderer that means it can compete with the cycles uh, arnold octane all this uh, kind of unbiased renderer right can it come to that uh, technology or that category and you cannot uh, uh, compare this with the uh, redshift or the integrated uh, software renderer because they are biased so there will be speed difference and technology difference so i'm not going to compare any software uh, any rendering technology in this video i'm just going to show you what you get in this uh, render so it's actually physically correct and balance gpu and cpu it's very very important if you have a, a good uh, gpu that means uh, if you have even if you have amd nvidia or intel gpu which has much uh, processing power you can use that for rendering and also you can uh, use your processor that means you can combine these together for rendering getting a faster but and i think then the recent uh, uh, blender version it has in the cycle has the same property you can use uh, GPU and CPU simultaneously to render a single scene but uh, this MD Pro, Radeon Pro render has the same technology as you can use not the same technology uh, the process is the same the technology is different uh, so you, it can combine the, uh, the graphics card and the processor to deliver the image and it's much much faster and all very very important thing to consider that uh, cycles has a limitation it can only work in the CUDA device that means only in the nvidia card but this can render work on amd card also and that's uh, a good thing and fast and accurate is it's much much faster than the previous version and use open standard that it means you can use it in apple linux mac uh, whichever system windows system you can use which support amd or supported uh, nvidia card which support or the driver version if it is supported you can render and there is a video about that how this is going on you can check that and you can use that on any gpu or cpu so which it should be supported only the, uh, the open cl or the metal support is required so you have to check with that if you even if you have a low end system you can try this software and it's absolutely free uh, and there are some technology you can watch and this is very important accelerator denoising it's very very good if you are using uh, some kind of uh, rendering and you need if there is not much uh, reflection or refraction is going on this uh, denoising is very good and very very powerful you can get it fast result and you can it you can use vulcan full spectrum rendering that is also very good and the biggest thing it's free and uh, there are some lot of things going on which uh, software is supported and then in this cinema 4d uh, uh, acc or a card or no model installed uh, solid work z motion and so all this software uh, they integrated this soft uh, the pro radian pro render in their application so you, there is no need to download it separately but if you are using 3ds max blender houdini maya creo or unreal engine you can get the plugin and it's absolutely free that's uh, very very good thing in uh, nowadays you can get a free render and it's absolutely fast and amazing so it is support cloud rendering also you can get on this kind of uh, render farms for cloud rendering and this is their gallery absolutely amazing and uh, you will get uh, almost uh, good result if you spend a little bit time to add uh, to learn the software the renderer you can get amazing result but 
uh it's not like uh, the bias red shift or that kind of bias and it's a little bit different but still you will get a, a photorealistic result and there is a lot of uh, supporting things you can read that i will put in the link and this is the actual plugin so it supported the blender windows mac os linux you have to download if you are using windows so if you are uh, using blender you can download from whichever option you want you also have to download uh, according to the supported version if the 2.4 is only for to uh, to blend the 2.8 and up and uh, if you are using 2.79 you have to download the lowest version and once you download you have to download this one also material library also so that will give you some materials out of uh, just click that and you will get some preset materials and my also is the same thing only windows and mac no linux so i don't know why and for 3 ds max uh, windows only and that because uh, 3 ds max only windows software houdini windows mac OX and linux uh, pdc 3 and unreal engine you can download uh, depending on the version you are using so once you download and you, uh, you you have to install that i'm going to show you only in the blender version so you have to download and install within the blender so this is the actual uh, demo version demo scene came with blender and uh, cycle rendered and i will show you if i switch this to radiant pro render what will going to happen so I'm just going to use as a normal view, normal the viewport shading view. And that is important if you are switching from one render to another, just go to wireframe or just a flat shade view. Otherwise, uh, it, there will be some crash occur. So just change it to Radeon Pro render. And it will, it is going to ask uh, whichever you want. You can use, uh, so I have the supported uh, um graphics card selected that means geforce gtx 1660 if you have multi gpu setup that also going to show in this area so you can choose that and then um, have pretty decent uh, um, processor also it's a very cheap processor amd ryzen 5 and 600 the first generation processor and uh, then i can use that also for rendering and uh, there will be some settings and i'm going to I'm not going to change anything because I'm not going to compare uh, cycles or pro render. So if you want to compare that, I have to match all the samples and settings, everything. So that's quite complicated. I'm just going to show you what is going to happen if I click render. So just before that, there will be uh, a tab named quality. You have to. Uh, expand that there will be some settings there but i'm not going to change anything but you have to check this render quality so that will going to give you uh, how much quality is going to um, use for rendering in the viewport not the final output so there will be full high medium low full excitement uh, according to my test only full high and low is working in my system so it depends if you it sometimes uh, depending on your hardware settings um any one of this the high medium is going to make problems so for me the medium settings is not working i will show you that uh, in the, uh, then the next step uh, what's difference so i'm just going to use in the fender full quality and going to use the viewport shading so just click that a little bit time to convert that so you can see it's a really fast a very very fast rendering and see it's actually rendering very very fast so 128 iteration it's not uh, much enough for uh, uh, for the clearing the noise but this is not a comparison between cycles and uh, radium pronoun but you can see it's still uh, using the same cycles materials that's very much same cycles materials lighting everything uh, it's uh, used that and converted on the go just clicking the button it's rendered so you can get that things so, uh, so before um, jumping back, I will show you one more thing. So I'm going to use viewport shading, and uh, there is another um, 
settings here this is actually ev render you can see uh, not uh, I, I changed it to cycles but uh, this look like in the cycles but it's actually a ev scene i'm just use ev and uh, see this is the shaded view this is the rendered view for ev so you can uh, see the difference uh, so this ev and if i change this to cycles uh, this is the actual cycle scene so you can see uh, there is a difference between ev and cycles for the scene but now we cannot compare uh, the ev and pro render because those are two different technologies but we can compare cycles and pro render that is why i changed this to uh, cycles so stop this i'm going to use the shader view again so just keep in mind that i'm going to change this to radiant pro render and all these things are same uh, the, this and uh, there is the low quality so if i use the full quality it's going to use um, the um, cp also now if i press this one the viewport shading so it's going to take some time to load but you can see and the high quality it's uh, a bit different but still uh, it's getting um faster render and depending on the uh, cycles rendering it's much much faster so i'm going to uh, before jumping into the um, uh, the viewport shading you have to click uh, back the share the normal way and just do the final view so that is very important so if you do not jump between these two views in the program that is going to hang your system so you can see it's much uh, faster and matching with the cycles what if you want to match with EV? So, uh, if you want to work some kind of uh, EV thing, we can do that. So, I'm going to just bang to the normal view. I'm going to use a low profile. And if I click this shaded view, you can give the actual viewport shading. So, you are getting. Mm, only the viewport shading the only the textured view now if i switch back to the final view the, the viewport rendering view so this is going to give so now you can see this is the actual uh, the, the final rendered view using the local settings so uh, this way you can get faster uh, viewport shading this is not for the final output but you can get uh, some ev like uh, feedback so this is actually a very good thing you can get all these thing uh, settings so i'm just uh, using i'm going to uh, the bmw scene so in the scene we are going to use uh, uh, the final render so we'll check that so first i will use the cycles so that is the final output i'm going to use plus render render image that is render. So i'm going to skip for now okay it's just finished rendering and you can see it took almost eight minutes to finish this and uh, all these things it's look pretty good and uh, now i'm going to shift to radiant pro render and i'm going to change this to slot 2 now i change to radiant pro render i'm not going to change anything here so i'm going to use this 128 samples and all this uh, red depth everything same and just click the render button render image so now you can see it took only about 18 seconds for rendering this scene and it's a lot of noise here i'm not going to change anything i'm just going to show you uh, the difference so this is the cycles version and this is the uh, pro render version so there is a lot of difference but still you get something similar and that is very important you get something similar with the cycles and the radiant pro render without changing anything just use the default materials but you get uh, almost the same uh, settings also you can see a, little, a lot of things here are shadows and those things but uh, there's a difference there but uh, get much similarities also and uh, we will change we will try to match that so in order to get uh, for the samplings 
and I am going to use uh, the sampling quality to increase that maximum samples to 1000 uh, 24 24 and uh, let's check uh, how this is going to happen before that uh, just go to render I'm going to use another slot on slot 3 now put render let's do that rendering here I will discuss one more thing here in slot 1 this is cycles and there is you can use uh, render layer if I choose render layer there is a composite and only uh, the render layer so there will be there's no layer here so nothing is added in the cycles in this slot 2 this the radiant pro render with only the lowest sample 128 samples and you can see uh, there is also combined depth depth if I use the composite layer it give you the uh, some here because uh, uh, that's because of composite in the render layer so in the render layer you can uh, use uh, the depth images so it always there is some path option is going but this is not uh, added here i will show you how to add this render layer also so now our uh, uh, the third rendering is finished so this is the actual um, this is the actual finished rendering but still you can see there is a lot of noise here and there but uh, you can increase that uh, sorry you can decrease that noise and for this uh, again for under slot and I'm not going to use the denoiser but I'm going to use all these passes I can use color path UV pass object pass uh, material pass uh, normal pass and uh, shadow catcher reflection shadow. this is not going to work because we are not going using any settings here but still I can use background emission direct illumination indirect illumination occlusion diffuse reflect diffuse uh, indirect uh, refraction and opacity and when lighting key lighting fill lighting because we there is no no different light here emissilating diffuse albedo and if i click again okay now it's finished rendering I mean, just a lot of noise here but i didn't change anything so we are going to use only uh, the path and the, the render passes here so just uh, this depth index we didn't define that but we can use the color path here uv you can see uh, object index uh, whatever index you that in the settings the material index geometric normal see catcher is not working so emission so what is emissive here direct illumination and direct illumination ambient occlusion so a lot of noise here you have to increase the different settings uh, sampling and the different rays uh, sampling also direct reflect uh, indirect diffuse direct deflect refraction and you can get all this path and you can use that to uh, to composite this image so that's it uh, this is very very good and uh, you can use the composite so there will be a little bit of uh, this trouble is coming because you need to increase the sampling uh, so i get regularly this uh, black uh, image coming because of composite but it's only without compositing it's good uh, so you can use that uh, and separate uh, uh, compositing scene so um, this radiant pro render is actually good uh, if you want to shift from cycles to pro render i know there is a lot of things missing here i didn't cover all the things how to get rid of all this noise on the six because it's not actually tutorial i just want to show you um, certain things uh, the the properties of this uh, render not uh, about uh, comparing or uh, making um, uh, differences of cycles pro render all these things i'm just about to I'm not going to do that and one more thing also i want to show you uh, where to get the materials uh, the materials you downloaded from the radion pro render site and where to get that so if i go and if i select the material for now i selected the car shell okay this is just a modified scene of uh, the same bmw 
render but uh, the end is i added some materials uh, the the radiant pro render materials but i will show you how to change that things before that we will jump uh, into uh, the final rendering i'm going to change just one uh, settings i changed here is uh, the minimum samples i used 256 and maximum samples to 512 and i'm going to render this and see what's going to happen and uh, now you can see uh, this is the actual radiant pro render material and uh, this one also I used uh, the preset material the glass material so i changed but still you can see um, now it's getting much much uh, faster and uh, noise free rendering and uh, this way you can uh, convert the cycle uh, render scene to radio pro render you can use the same settings or you can just uh, change the material and uh, you can see i used some denoising also so it get a um, little bit uh, noise free and also it within uh, 50 second uh, you can see it's almost 49 second i get a noise free render almost noise free it's not uh, same or not compared to the cycles uh, this one is not that much uh, contrast or high uh, settings but still um, you can uh, play with these settings you will get uh, all these things i will just show you one more thing uh, what i did is that just only i changed the minimum samples and maximum samples value to 50 and 5 to i just um, increased you can increase uh, the sample value both the sample value minimum samples also you can you have to increase and the maximum samples value if you uh, keep the minimum samples and, and 64 and you increase the maximum samples you will get much uh, more render time but you will get much uh, higher contrast but, uh, for this kind of things this is uh, the good for uh, this value 256 total value is good and also in the the layer settings i used um, the rprt noiser and i used the machine learning uh, technology so it has uh, bilateral local where you can uh, check with that and which settings is good uh, you can try experiment Dep depending on the difference in here you have to change and uh, one more thing uh, i will show you how to change the materials and i will discuss about this um, material uh, surrender passes i will discuss later so uh, now if i select this uh, the the body i can see and uh, now um, i will use uh, maybe this one tire board so you cannot see that maybe i think use the bumper i don't know which kitty bars uh, you can see now it's uh, the material is uh, here so go to the material view on the material tab you can see this is called black uh, plastic we can change that so uh, how i changed it to radiant pro render material i'm going to show you that you have to um, do this uh, before uh, doing this you have to install the material library i showed you on the first you have to download and install the material library browse uh, settings so you will get uh, the material library browser if you are in the radion pro render renderer settings and for the shader you have to use material library browser you can also change from here also if you want uh, but uh, from the material library browser you get much much uh, different materials so that's a very good option so you have to click either you have to use the category or search if you know the names you can go to search but if uh, for a starter you can use the categories so you can see there is a car paint if you click that you will get car paint composite concrete msc a lot of things you can change from here so um depending uh, on these things yeah, i will I'm going to use the jewels and if you click this one so uh, i'm not using uh the man used uh, not jewels i'm going to use the metals uh, so precious metals so that's uh, i can use uh which the bronzed polish or the satin i can use the satin 
bronze satin and uh, now it's not uh, applied you have to click the embed materials and uh, if you want uh, the textures also to be in the same location you can click that otherwise it will use um, the default uh, library location if you are going to send this scene to another paper or uh, another computer you have to use the copy texture to scene location so the all the texture will be packed into the scene otherwise uh, it will be used from wherever the location whichever the location the material library is installed it will grab from that location but i'm not using any network rendering or network location so i'm just uh, i'm not going to use that just import material now it's uh, applied now i can uh, go and click this again now we put shading and see you can see i already selected that so you can see um, that material is applied there and uh, so uh, the viewport denoising if you click the denoising viewport denoising won't work so I'll, and that's the problem so i can use uh, the again i will show you that uh, how the material is applied well could you change this campaign material also if you are using this uh, default scene you will, there is uh, no need to go to the surface just go to the uh, categories a uh, change going to use the car paint use uh, another virtual car paint material you want i'm going to use uh, maybe yeah uh, the black and click import material so that is applied here i'm going to go render image just wait for almost one minute and uh, the render will be finished you can see uh, now you can see um, the render uh, now you can see uh, the render is uh, responding pretty well and uh, that uh, that is a good uh, uh, starting point if you are going to use uh, different settings i'm going to change one more things uh, settings also whether it's rendering while it's rendering i'm going to use uh, to change the floor plane material to something much more uh, can use uh, render tiles use uh, maybe this style Okay, up import material and this time I'm going to use uh, before that the render is finished I can see and uh, this is uh, looking I think it's good uh, much much better than before so you can change uh, this to this material before that I'm going to show you one more thing so we apply this material uh, to the floor and uh, going to use the layer view and you can see there is just one depth value is also this depth value is uh, according to the camera depth and uh, if you click the camera and uh, all the same settings uh, is similar to the cycles so if you change anything here that is going to change the focal length uh, and the blurriness uh, which our object it's a focus all these things going to change from here you can adjust focal length and focus object or distance if the blades all these things uh, will match uh, here in the render also so i'm not going to discuss that I'm just going to use the render layer and see so you have a lot of options i'm just going to use color uv object index material index and these two option uh, we didn't define that so you have to go to um, the settings and define all these settings in the in order to tell you how to define the which your object in this material index to use and uh, you can use the normal geometric normal or shading normal which you can use and uh, i'm going to use the emission direct illumination direct illumination ambient occlusion sorry ambient occlusion and uh, refraction I'm going to change uh, the environment lighting msc lighting and albedo and um, this one and the made the glass material also uh, it is now opaque uh, so i'm going to change that can you use that this i'm going to change to here on the surface you can see this pbr uba shader and um, the reflection color refraction 
reflection reference I don't need that I think I can change that and a um, few go to the shaded view the shader view, uh, editor you will get uh, that here you can get rid of that IOR and isotropy refraction weight refraction color refraction IOR at the same refraction absorption all this you can change that and if I render again just save the scene render render image this is going to change uh, the look and feel of the uh, the file output we can always uh, change uh, these materials see now it's much brighter because um, uh, because we changed the, the bottom material and the glass is still opaque we can change that uh, if you use uh, the tiles to glass and change it to something uh, solid clear so I used clear windows that is why it's uh, getting the, the volume effect so that is why it's not have it's just a simple uh, plane so it doesn't have thickness uh, that can be defined uh, even if I you didn't use this also Mm, okay uh, either we can use uh, the clear glass or the same glass we can change just uh, use the thin surface As you can see the refraction thin surface and we'll check uh, I think that will uh, make a big difference here and we'll use this rendering and you can see now it's almost finished so let us you can see some uh, error here so this um, slow to composite to render layer combined you can see uh, all these render layers are defined here you can see the depth so if you make uh, combined and if I use the composite you can see all the things uh, coming out and if I use render layer and you can see depth we didn't define the depth here we use the color uv you can get object index material index geometric normal emission direct uh, illumination all these things you will get and you can create different render passes and different kind of effects you can do a um, lot of post-production and in the compositing or in the photoshop or after effects habitual software you or the same in the blender we have effects panel you can do a lot of things using these passes and this ambient occlusion refraction environment lighting uh, emissive lighting albedo and that uh, way you can create and I'm going to use another slot here I'm just going to show, show you only how the, the, the different material works I'm just going to I don't need uh, all these passes so I'm going to use um, no that pass any pass I don't want just uh, do the render again so this way you can um, sorry it's crashed okay now uh, I'm going to show okay, now I'm going to render this before that I am going to change this material also uh, it has some problem I found but it's because I don't need that much and the RPR image texture here where is the diffuse color and uh, diffuse weight I can think uh, changing this and if I make the denoising off and all this layer off uh, render layer off and if I render from here see what's going to happen okay now getting much uh, good result uh, and uh, if it's working or not 
definitely it's not working if I use uh, the shader here we'll change this one okay and just uh, use the shaded view and I'm going to use uh, glass I'm going to use this one to clear glass glass uh, clear and I'm going to import that material use you can see I'm going to use the thin surface and we don't need that a reflection and uh, normal don't need that bum map also just use uh, reflection reference here and uh, you are also refraction everything is good now we just going to render again okay now we can see the inside you can see the inside part here now I stop rendering and I'm going to use the same here just enable the RPR denoiser machine learning and just uh, save the scene render image so this is the final render and you can see and also if you if you don't have a high end system and uh, please remember that if you are using low end system or using a low specification with a, a low laptop or something you can um, use the tiled render option not for like uh, uh, the progressive rendering that is uh, here in the render settings you can use tiled rendering if you click that uh, it will render like uh, the cycles or the other rendering uh, tile so that uh, give you uh, uh, if you if the scene is very high uh, or your system cannot handle the scene you can use that tile rendering and that is going to render so this is the final scene uh, i got within this and i will check uh, and check uh, the final output on oh, 9210 so that's good and uh, see now i have uh, much much uh, good looking result not the same with the cycles there is no contrast over uh, the color you all you can access or the attain with uh, the, the, the the render settings all this you can change um the, the display device the standard view transform you can change all this if you want all these things you can the same like cycles and look develop and all this or you can use the curves or you can add the lut the lut uh, all these things you can do and uh, i'm going to save this scene and uh, uh, we'll put this uh, I, i'm going to give you the all the link to download uh, the pro render ready in pro render even if you are not using blender you can use it in maya 3 ds max or any software and uh, you can utilize your emd graphics card also that is uh, a nice feature you can use any graphics card which support all the features of the radian pro render and you can use this uh, the default uh, processor also and that is the difference between cycles and pro render so cycles can cycles and pro render can um, use uh, the processor and gpu but uh, the cycles can only use uh, the cuda supported nvidia graphics card only um, while uh, the radiant pro render can utilize amd or uh, nvidia card also and uh, the same optics uh, features like uh, denoising all the things is implemented in this also so and uh, not the same like optics denoising but the internal denoising the, the the machine learning the md kind of denoising things all these things works uh, pretty similar and uh, it just gave you a decent result and uh, yeah i think uh, the it if you remember correctly the, the previous cycles render is eight minute eight minute render and that give much higher good result but this one is only 
58 seconds that means less than one minute render and give you almost smooth and uh, good result even if you give, add more uh, blurriness uh, that kind of things so this is going to take a little bit of um, time but even if you double the render time you will get uh, the same the same rendering and the two minutes uh, not the same like cycles but the same this thing two minutes so it's so um, different uh, we cannot compare the two different uh, render technology together but uh, we just looking for uh, the actual final output uh, and how much time we are going to spend on the same machine that's I mean I really like this one and uh, I found only Octane is much much faster than radio not because uh, they use the different technology if you use the path tracing um the radio and octane may be same and for the same machine i cannot test that in the same thing because i need to change all the things in the octane but if you use the direct illumination in the octane it's much much faster than this but still uh, i really like the radio product it's coming um, much uh, it came um, it's in can see this is much much evolved you can see it's, uh, the, the progress from the last year for to this year it's the amd radeon pro render if you check uh, uh, their um, um, uh, the evolution of the radeon pro render it's um, it's very very large compared to the previous version though the previous year it's I didn't even like that. I didn't even use that. Now uh, I'm uh, I'm checking that and uh, I worked uh, working on that. I'm exploring that. That means I'm going to use this in production also. So thank you for watching for G and have a nice day.